make me. <laughs> Whoa! What are you guys doing? We can hear you from the kitchen. What does it look like, Red? I'm trying to learn how to skate. Well, here. Let me show you how. What? No! Folks, it's still snowing out there, so let's check in with our own toothy and intrepid Carl Rains. <laughs> Thanks, Al. I think it was Robert Frost who said... When are we getting out of here? Because I have plans to take my girlfriend dancing, I need to know if we should push back our reservations or not. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I don't feel when hell freezes over as a polite response. <laughs> Officer Kozlovsky. Yeah, we're just gonna sit still. Don't worry, Romeo. Everything will work out. Mm-hmm. Anyone hungry? Oh, sorry, officer. Gotta go. We're serving hors d'oeuvres. Oh. oh, my God! They killed Flash! You bastards! It was an accident. You're okay, right? Of course I'm not okay. I twisted my ankle, I hit my head, and... Are those... Orders. <laughs> Why didn't you make the crab tip I like? Well, the only thing in the pantry that even remotely resembled crab meat was something called mock lox. We tried to avoid it. Good call. Flash, let me take a look at your ankle. Yellow. Hey, Officer Kozlowski, what's up? Uh, yeah, he's right here. He wants to talk to you. Me? Yeah, he asked for Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Hello? Ah. Uh, thank you. Oh, well, what did he say? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to announce that we will be leaving this building in approximately one hour. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we are going to Starlight Lounge. Well, we got one hour left. What do you guys want to do? Oh, Victor and I have to get back to our vichyssoise. And I don't mind taking over the next phone shift. Guess I'm stuck with Abernathy. Okay, what do the rest of you guys want to do? All right, if we don't score, they win. Right. I want you to go long past my locker. Cut back, bake right, then go left. Come on. Okay. Break! Hey! 23, 32, hey. go, 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 go! Sorry, coach. Well, I don't really mind. It's worth it just to see them do that little victory dance. Uh, of course. Now we have to crush them. So, uh, girls, ready for the final challenge? Name your game. Okay, first team to pass the science lab wins. You're on. On your mark. Get set. How's your foot? Like you care. You don't like me, do you? Whatever gave you that idea? Well, let's see. I mean, there was a time you called me an airhead. Oh, yeah, and that time you told Victor I had a huge crush on him. Not to mention the time... Look, it's not that I don't like you. It's just that we really have nothing in common. Except Chris. <laughs> Whom we don't have to talk about right now. There is a God. There just has to be something the two of us have in common. What about TV? You know what show I used to love? The one on Nickelodeon. Are you afraid of the dark? Oh, please. Though, I did think that nerdy kid with the glasses was kind of cute. Really? What about cartoons? How about Gem and the Holograms? Hated it. And Josie and the Pussycats? No. Shira, Princess of Power? <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess you didn't like Rainbow Bright. What about Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Doo. What's your brilliance? <laughs> Chris. 
We are starved. Can't we have a little snack before dinner? Now, now. You know it'll spoil your appetites. <laughs> Where's Victor, anyway? Oh, he went to the pantry. Uh, we ran out of onions. Mm. What do you girls think of Victor? What do you mean? Well, don't you think he's kind of attractive? Excuse me? I mean, Victor has a lot of great qualities. He, he's tall. He's not repulsive. He's tall. Look, look, I'm just saying, if I was a girl, I'd be thrilled if someone fixed me up with Victor. And do you think about this a lot, Chris? Look, I think you should get one of your friends to go out with him. He needs someone. Someone special, someone who really cares about him. What? You know, I thought you were taller. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Uh, we got hungry. That's a problem. Do you realize we left mags and flash alone for over 40 minutes? <laughs> Some work to do now. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We need. Okay, you're just in time to settle a question. What do you suppose is the exact nature of the relationship between Scooby Doo and Scrappy Doo? Hey, yeah, are they related or is something totally weird going on? And why is a hot girl like Daphne hanging out with a total loser like Shaggy? Daphne's hot. <laughs> Uh, something strange is going on here. Why are Flash and Mags getting along? Chris just asked us to find Victor a girlfriend. What? I told you, it's the blue moon. Anything can happen. Well, I'll tell you what's gonna happen in about five minutes. The big mother snowplow is gonna pull up at the door, and me and Emily are gonna be on our way to the Starlight Lounge. Newsroom. Hi, Oscar Kozlowski. Okay, I'll tell him. He says we better find some blankets because we're not leaving here tonight. That's impossible. There just aren't enough snow plows to go around. We're not considered an emergency. It's just snow. Look, I'm not going to let it ruin our night. I'm going to dig up my car and we're going. Romeo, you can't just go out there. It's freezing. Uh, man, she's right. We're stuck here. Look, I promise you a special evening and I'll never break my word. Romeo, wait. Heather with the weather here, filling in for the missing Carl Rains. Here's a neato storm tip that'll probably save your life. Oh. <laughs>